It is Wild Wednesday here on Daytime, and we have Bambi Godkin here to introduce us to today's animal. Welcome back from the zoo, Bambi. Who do we have with you today? This is Baloo. Oh, oh gosh, he's, he's, <laughs> he is a white tree frog. I think he noticed me. Hello, yes. Baloo. I'm like <laughs> literally afraid he's going to just leap at me. Oh my gosh, he's yeah, so he okay. So this is a white tree frog. A white tree frog. So tell me a little bit about this species compared to you know normal yeah, tree frogs that um, people are used to. Well, these guys are native to Australia. Okay. Um, they're going to be found in rainforests and other forested areas in Australia. Just kind of keeping an eye on oh, him here. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, of course, you know, probably first thing you're going to notice is his size. Yes, he's much um, bigger than the yeah. tree frogs I've seen When we in the think past. of tree frogs, yeah, yeah, we often think of the little tiny guys. Um, there are species of tree frog that get quite a bit bigger, and this is one of them. Yeah. Um, so is this um, maybe as big as, as he's going to so get? He, he might get a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, he, would he may get fatter. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little uh, wide. He's oval shaped. They're known for being, their, their nickname is Dumpy Tree Frog. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, the, I see that. Yeah, okay. But he is a little on the plump side. Um, even for a white tree frog, um, but they um, they can get even bigger. Like the females tend to be larger, uh, five six inches even. Yeah. So, yeah. so since they're from Australia, what what kind of food are these guys eating? So, what are they looking for? Yeah. At the zoo? Um, they do eat insects, just like any other frog that you'd be familiar with. But because they are larger, they can eat small animals as well, so small birds. Of course, uh, other frogs. Mm -hmm. So if it fits in their mouth, they'll they'll eat it. <laughs> now, a lot of times, tree frogs are poisonous, and they're not safe to touch or eat. Um, obviously, as a repellent for for other yes. um, animals trying to eat them. But tell us a little bit about this guy. So these guys do have a very mild toxin in their skin. So for us, like I just need to rinse my hands off after I handle him, and okay. like it could you know irritate my eyes, sure, that kind of thing. Um, for animals that were to eat them, it it's going to cause them indigestion. It's not going to kill them, but it's still a pretty good deterrent. Yeah. Surprise, because no one wants to get an upset stomach from the food they eat. Of course so. not. Of course not. So one of the cool things, I don't know if Spencer can get a shot, is the feet. They're actually really um, a little bit larger toe pads mm -hmm. than most frogs that I've seen before. So tell us a little bit about yeah. that specific. Because they spend so much time in the trees and mm -hmm. they do a lot of climbing and jumping, those toe pads, you know, they're like suction cups. They're going to give them good traction, grip when they're hopping and climbing in the trees. So that's why those toe pads are so large and why you don't see the web because they're spending their times in trees, not swimming. Versus the water, yeah. got it, because you need the web for the water. And then, of course, this says they actually have slight color changing abilities. Yeah. So a little bit of a chameleon. Yeah, so it's not anything drastic, but uh -huh. um, d various shades of blue, green, gray, and brown to better blend in with whatever tree species they're on. Because, of course, not all tree leaves or bark is the same color. Right, absolutely. And of course, you guys have this frog, but do you guys have other frogs that his little friends up there at the zoo? Um, so we do have, um, Baloo's off display is one of our education animals, but we do okay. have some dark frogs okay. um, that are on display in our reptile house. So those so are people can, the little ones. Yeah, yeah, people can come visit them up at the zoo. And so with the warmer weather on the way, what, what do you guys have planned at the zoo? Because yeah. I know this is about to be your busy season. Yeah, so um, actually tomorrow we have an event at the Spot on Kirk. Okay. Um, it's a fierce film festival. So we have these short films that were made by local people. Um, some teenagers and, and things like that. So that'll be fun. And then um, next Saturday we have our first like Saturday event, which okay. is our spring fling. So. Perfect. So we're going to kick off spring at the Mill Mountain Zoo. And yeah. of course, if people want to come up and visit him and his friends, where can they go? They can go to, uh, of course, Mill Mountain Park up mm -hmm. the spur, and they can visit our website, mmzoo.org, to see what we have going on. Perfect. Thank you so much. And thank you, Baloo. You are a very well-behaved guest. <laughs>